Hello Clash fans, Trample Damage coming to you here today with what I hope is a really cool and useful video that you guys will find. You like my base, Trample Damage YouTube. Uh, this is what I've actually left up as my normal base because I don't have much use for any of my resources at this point. So aside from the random wall. So this video, and I would really appreciate commentary on this one to let me know if you guys think it was a cool video, something I should consider doing with other town halls because this was actually a lot of work to put together. So the plan was I'd troll in global asking people like, please help me find a town hall 10 that's maxed. And ideally it was, you know, I would tell people I want, you know, level nine archer or level nine wizard towers. I wanted uh, maximum Inferno level 3 Inferno Towers for Town Hall 10. Like, I wanted a war base. Ideally, something that I would see in war. And I was going to attack 10 bases and put all the videos up regardless whether I got 3 stars or not. I didn't get 2 stars in any of them, so it maybe looks like I'm cherry-picking stuff, but I'm honestly telling you I'm that good. I didn't, I didn't mess up any of my attacks. Uh, I was hoping for a 2 star in there so I could look a little bit more like, you know, and there was the one that didn't go as the 3 star. But I used the same army in each of these attacks. Looks like I'm missing an archer in the clan castle. But two golems form the anchor for the attack at two separate points along one side of the base as I am heading into the middle to try and get to the archer queen and the enemy clan castle troops. And I use usually six to eight wizards to clear perimeter buildings. Queen usually goes in right behind the wrecker. King comes in as soon as the external walls are breached. And then a rage for the Valkyries to come out and wreck the archer queen and possibly an inferno tower or the town hall or whatever kind of mayhem they can get up to in the middle. I always save two to four wizards for cleanup and five archers unless I absolutely have something going sideways. Four heal spells to keep the hogs safe throughout the course of the attack. And, haha, I have a meeting and another meeting. Oh, they got canceled. Sweet. That'll be more time to work on other stuff productive today. So anyway, that was the gist. Uh, I have all the attacks recorded in four times speed. And so what I'll do is I'm just going to run through and tell you briefly about the person or the clan that I was in while I did it. Run through the attack. And hopefully you guys find this really useful. And we'll see how it goes. First up. Number one. So the first person we ran into was Slickman in global chat. And yeah, this goes quick. Two golems forming the pivot, the anchor point, the wall wrecker got on in there. Valkyries raging, hogs running through, healing them along the way, banging things out. One golem there, still alive, banging away at some walls. This one definitely came down to the wild, wild, so to the wild, to the wild. This came down to the wire, so kudos to Slickman. Now this next one we see here is not actually going to be counted among our top 10 because this was not a max Town Hall 10. It was a 9.5. Number 1.5. So I met Clay here in Global, and Clay said, Oh, Town Hall 10s fail against me all the time. I even had a Town Hall 11 mess up against me. And, you know, give it a shot, but I'd be surprised if you even get two stars. And the reason I wanted to include this, which we joked about it afterwards, because even in chat he wrote, Oh, he did not just do that to me. I didn't use either hero's ability, and I didn't use three of my heal spells. But I thought it was fun and worthwhile mentioning, so thanks to Clay. He did end up saying congrats, and oh my gosh, I got my ass handed to me. And while this says it'll be on my YouTube channel soon, it was almost a week ago since I recorded it. Number two. So this one here coming to us from Ghost Zeke, who ultimately joined the good guys, the greatest clan ever. This has, uh, you know, those perimeter town halls that make the angle a little bit tricky to get to, but ultimately Valkyries pounded in there and hogs came across i would have liked to include this as a uh, zeke was super friendly and global so i went ahead and included it but the inferno towers are level one but there were a boatload of hog riders left running around to clean this out and i anticipate i still would have gotten three stars anyway but thank you to zeke for eventually joining the good guys so both of these next two attacks come to us from 88 no tlc 88 2004 Number three. Now, I actually really like both of these bases. Again, you see golems pivoting out. I got, I'm going to call it a hair lucky on this one with the archer queen coming around on the inside to help with those troops and then popping off on the side over there and taking down that inferno tower so that when the hog riders came in, they had a nice run through here 
And I think if that Inferno Tower hadn't gone down early, that might have given me a little bit more trouble. But, you know, kudos to the Archer Queen for doing what she needs to do and those hog riders pounding out that town hall. So this was the first one that we got from TLC who offered up a second base. Number four, dude. Again, another one of these kind of awkward layouts, weird walls, but uh, gave me a really easy broadside to get the Barbarian King in here against these Clan Castle troops, and the Valkyries and Barbarian King did a pretty decent number on the middle there. And this one, I'll be honest, I was a little worried about it as it was going through. I thought this was going to be a two-star that I could add to my collection, but that Archer Queen powered through, got to the core, took out a whole bunch of stuff. Hog Riders played really nice. Maybe it's just because I'm such a great Hog Whisperer. Number five. So I met J.com from the clan Weed in Global. Super friendly. Invited me on over to join for a friendly challenge. I put on a little bit of a beating here. Everybody was pretty impressed. And somebody started giving me the rules of the clan. Like, you gotta smoke weed and be relaxed and stuff. And I said, oh no, I just came for a friendly challenge. I'm working on a YouTube video. And then I got kicked out of the clan. Which might honestly have been my favorite moment of this whole video. Uh, I ended up talking to Jay in Global afterwards and he was like, Sorry about that, man, but uh, I just got a really big kick out of it. Hope you guys do too. This next one comes to us from Finn in the clan DVDA Space 37. So, like, number six. This is a similar layout to some stuff I've seen before. Two Inferno Towers that are single targets sitting on a little bit of an island. Uh, Valkyries managed to pound all the way into the middle and get the town hall down. And then nice easy loop for the hog riders to come around. Three giant bombs right there. I actually thought for a moment when I saw it, I was like, oh crap, <laughs> I'm going to wind up getting only two stars on this one. And that Archer Queen you see circled around, took out that Inferno Tower, did a really great job. Heck of a team player. Only a few hogs left in there. And uh, Finn offered me to try it again, actually. I would had gone back into replay. Archer Queen, total MVP on this one. For the closest one of the attacks I ended up making. So thanks again to Finn. From Destroyer in HTZA. I will eat your soul. So Destroyer was one of the really friendly people that I met in Global. Said, hey, yeah, totally, man. I'm interested. I'll take you up on your offer and uh, help you out with the base. And I think like everybody, there was some hope slash expectation that I'd wind up failing and they'd be the one that left me with zero stars or two stars and I really like this base layout and I did get you know it was it was nice the way the heels worked out with all the defenses close on the inside the hog riders able to circle through uh, overall really enjoyed it got some positive commentary in the clan after the fact uh, and <laughs> my trying to type things and autocorrect was not helping me out but thanks again to destroyer uh, it's an octopus. So these last three attacks all come from the same clan. While I was trolling in Global, somebody said, Oh, you want some Town Hall 10 challenges? You gotta try this clan over here. You'll get stomped by all their bases. You see the same general thing. Golems create anchor points, some wizards, Archer Queen, King, once the wall is breached then hog riders can run amok. And I will say, there are some, there were some really good layouts in this clan, but I managed to get the last three that I needed all as three stars and then called it quits. So this one here, town hall way in the corner over there. Again, golem, golem, anchor. And this was like a feeding frenzy. Every time a friendly challenge went up, I, I tried taking a couple of friendly challenges and like scouting before I started just to take a moment to look at it. And I, I missed every one of those that I tried. This one, the pathing carved out really nice with the heroes and the wrecker breaking through there and then a nice little L shape for the hogs to come through. That's a pretty traditional uh, layout that I wind up going through. Not that layout of the base, but blow out one quarter of base and then uh, swoop through with hogs on the other three quarters in an L shape. So thanks to Cannabis of the Nonconformists for providing me with the clan tag there of this Town Hall 10 Challenge clan. Binary number two. So this final base coming, a nice elongated weird design. I went with the golems on the upper corner there, wall wrecker heading down in toward the town hall. And you see there's a wait there to try to put my barbarian king because I wanted to make sure he'd head in toward the core. And then of course he didn't anyway. And now we're in four times speed. 
I think next time around I'll wind up doing this in two times speed. Uh, again, nice path cut right there. Hog Riders, easy L shape running right through the base. You just heal them all the way to the finish line, no problems. I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video because it was a lot of trouble to make. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing this type of thing again. Um, I can do with Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7, maybe 10. But with some different troops, like Valkyries, or Dragons, or something, who knows. Or Town Hall 11, maybe 11, 11 attacks, or 12 Town Hall 12 attacks. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, tell me what you think about it. Really hope you enjoyed it. This is Trample Damage saying thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.